from a fairly, fairly early age, I've always been, when I had hair, I, I, I used to cut my hair all the time. You know, I was always doing something with my hair. And um, back in, from 1999 until 2001, I did volunteer work up in, um, in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, during that time, we, uh, since I was a volunteer, I didn't make too much money, so I had to get a haircut from whoever would be willing to cut my hair. And I got messed up all the time. Somebody would always, whoever I let cut my hair would always mess me up. So I said, if anybody's going to mess myself up, it's going to be me. So I, I bought my first pair of clippers for $5. And I, I realized I had a knack for it. And, uh, I got back to Birmingham. Uh, I went to school then. And, uh, and I grew from there. My inspiration is uh, forever will be my dad. Uh, he told myself and he told me and my brothers that uh, whatever we put our minds to, he actually, he really believed that, and, uh, and so I, I tried to you know, copy his example. When I, when I started cutting hair, I looked at everybody around me. I, I may have liked the way one guy uh, did one particular thing, and I, I, like, I may have liked something another guy did. And I took something from everybody that I worked with. It didn't matter how old they were or how, how young they are. I, right, I still do it now. If I see somebody younger than me that might have a technique that I like, I'll adopt that, and it's all. That's, and I feel like that's what it's. That's what it's all, uh, all about. You take something from everybody that, that you uh, that you're around and you make your own style. I know what it is to be a customer. I understand how people like to be treated, and so I want to treat you with the utmost respect. And I want to. Uh, I want you to, to feel important while you're in the chair, and I also want you to uh, to come back. My greatest satisfaction was when somebody likes the haircut so much that they leave their hat. They forget it. I, you know, I, I, I view that as a compliment. We can be ourselves. I know him. He knows me. We have the same values. And uh, we, I, I really believe that we have a good temper that we, you know, we can build on. So last week's uh, seemed to be the best move for me because I was ready to step out on my own, but it, it, it uh, eliminated all the... Uh, a little bit of fear that I had to step out on my own would eliminate a lot of the overhead that I would have to worry about. Uh, it's it's kind of give, give me an opp opportunity to get my feet wet. But as, as soon as I stepped out, you know, I, I knew I made the right choice. Nothing but confidence. And it really uh, solidified my decision. Just my choice. Shave yourself at least twice a week, and at a minimum, if you need to go to, to, to uh, get away, get rid of uh, razor bumps or, you know, can't just let your you can't just let your beard grow. You have to you have to shave yourself. Uh, and that's the only way you're gonna, you know, you you almost you you're gonna clear up at least 75, 80 percent of the blemishes that you know that you know, occur naturally when you just let your um, when you just let your beard grow.